This is Inspector Al here, and today's video is going to be shot at my house. Today I have Tristan here to help me. Uh, we're going to be looking at the some of the electrical system in my house, and also at ground fault circuit interrupters. Uh, Tristan, what are you, 18? No, I'm 11. 11? Well, that's okay. You're going to be smart enough to understand what I explained to you today. Ground fault circuit interrupters are used on circuits that are exposed to water. Here Tristan has got an outlet that's outside on the front porch and he's going to take a look at that outlet and see if there are any reset buttons. Go ahead and look. These do not have a reset button so he's going to take the tester that I provided and he's going to plug it in. When he plugs that in, he should see lights, two of them, which tells you that the outlet is wired correctly. From there, he's going to push the button on the tester, and the lights go out. That indicates that it's GFI protected, and he has uh, tripped the uh, GFI. But there's no buttons there for him to reset, so we're going to have to figure out as we go further where the resets are for that. They can either be at the panel box in the basement or they can be at another outlet inside. From the outside, we get started on the electrical system. Uh, in our house today, it's easy because the electrical service is coming in underground and the first thing we see is the meter mounted on the outside wall. Uh, Tristan is going to look at the meter for me and give me the specifications. Uh, what's the voltage, Tristan? 240 volts. 240 volts, that's standard. And how about the uh, class or amperage? Uh, 200 amps. Perfect, okay. That's telling us that we're able to handle quite a bit of electricity in this house. This is a pretty good size house. And if it's got things like air conditioning, and other appliances that use a lot of electricity, that's important. And then from there, it should also probably say three wire, is that correct? Yeah. It wire. does. So we've got a standard meter. Uh, it's coming in through that tube from the bottom, and that's as far as we can go outside. Uh, grab the box and make sure it's mounted there securely, Tristan. Just reach it, no, up high, the box that the meter's on. Yep, just, yep, it's mounted securely. We would also look to see if there's excessive rust on it. This is only 20 years old, there shouldn't be, but we'd especially look along the bottom for any type of rust. Okay, Tristan and I have moved into the kitchen. We're looking at GFIs again. Here we have an outlet on the wall that has the GFI buttons. He's inserted the tester, and he's now gonna push the button to see if it's um, active. He pushes the button, you could hear the pop. You can also see that the lights on the tester have gone out. Tristan now is going to hit the reset button. Lights are back on. So this is a working GFI with the reset button right on the outlet. We've gone to the bathroom, which should also have GFI protection. And we see that when we plug in the tester, that this one is already tripped. Probably indicates that it's connected to the one outside that did not have the buttons. Uh, Tristan is gonna reset this one for us. And then he's gonna hit the button again. And it is operational. He's gonna reset it a second time Tristan has moved the uh, tester to another outlet in the kitchen. This one does not have any reset buttons. He's going to activate the button. And sure enough, the lights have gone out. We heard a click behind us. So this is also GFI protected. When we come back over to another GFI, we see we can reset and the lights are back on. We're now next to the 
sub panel and looking at the water meter for water coming into the house but the reason we're here is to check for the electrical ground uh, the electrical ground wire is found here connected to the pipe on the house side and then from there there is a jumper There is a jumper wire that goes around the meter to protect the meter and connects over here to the street side of the plumbing line. That is secure. That is secure and that's what we want to see. So we can see that this has been grounded. 